Yes, that is right guys, the entire Marks and Spencers bakery. This cost me 27 British pounds. That is ridiculous. I recently did the entire little bakery and that only cost me like 13 quid. This is proper bougie and I am very excited. I dread to think how many calories are here. But for you guys at home, I'll put the total calories on your screen now. There's a lot of pastry, a lot of sugar. This stuff feels a lot heavier than um, Little's Bakery. Obviously, this is like premium quality stuff. But yeah, I've literally got one of every item from the bakery other than stuff like the breads and the baguettes. I'm not going to sit here chewing bread. So yes, just a bit of fun, guys. Another Christmassy video, as you can tell by the hat, obviously. I'm not just wearing this for the laughs of it. It's quite hot. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and of course subscribe. And let me know where you want to see me go next to take on their bakery. With that said, this is the entire Marks and Spencers Bakery Challenge. Alright guys, so I want to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of this video, Wondershare Famisafe. The most reliable parental control app available. So this app is for iOS and Windows and works across a whole range of devices. So no matter what device you've got, you should be able to use this app. With Christmas literally being just around the corner and all of your children getting new computers, new phones, tablets, PCs, consoles, etc. It's more important now than ever to make sure they are safe while using the internet. And this app makes it super, super simple. With a whole range of different features, one of them being screen time, which means you can track exactly how much screen time your children are getting and also get live updates telling you exactly what they've been up to on the internet. If this sounds like something that you guys would be interested in, I'm gonna have a link down below. Check out Wondershare Famisafe. You can try it out now for three days, completely free of charge, and then if you like it, you can go ahead and buy it. They are currently running a flash sale, so I'll have a link down below. Well worth the money, especially with Christmas being here. You wanna protect your children, protect your kids from all of the uh, nasty parts of the internet. With that said, massive thank you to Wondershare Famisafe for sponsoring this video. It's time to get back to the baked goods. No time limit, I kind of want to enjoy it a little bit. We're going to start with pretty much one of the only savoury things, the pretzel, which feels a lot nicer than Little's pretzel. Oh, it's very bready. Ugh, that went down rough. Right, next savoury thing, got a cheese scone. Got all of the cheese gone. You can tell that's got some butter in it. This is a fruit scone. These are lovely. Oh, that is really nice. Wow. I can see why it's so expensive. It's good. Right, next up we've got a pink iced donut. Come in these fancy little boxes. Right, I think I, I almost want to get rid of some of this stuff because this is really, really sweet. All right, these are cronuts. Basically, it's a combination between a croissant and a donut. Or a, no, they call it yum nuts, sorry. Not a cronut. It's a cross between a donut and a yum yum. Got that completely wrong. This is just the original one. Delicious, but very sweet. Right, this is the Christmassy one. Looks like a Santa's belly, I guess. Just icing. Doesn't taste of anything. We'll take all of these yum yums out. Yum nuts. This is the raspberry one. It's got raspberries on top. That's my favourite one. Alright, this is the Billionaire's Yum Nut. Tell you what, this might actually be over 10,000 calories. Billionaire's, this is probably going to be my favourite one. Yep. Oh, wow, that's a lot of sugar. Alright, next up we're going to do... Um, I'm going to try this muffin and then we'll go on to some of the stuff in front of me. This is a Percy Pig muffin. Now, if you don't know what a Percy Pig is, that's a Percy Pig right there. Marks and Spencer's are kind of known for it. For whatever reason. I don't know how that started. But these feel very nice. Let's see what's inside. I think it's strawberry. Oh, it tastes like bubblegum. 
Oh, it's very sweet though. It's filled. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It tastes like bubblegum, which I'm not a fan of. Right. Next up, we'll do this. This is an apricot twist. It feels very heavy. It's weird. It tastes like cheese. I think it's cream on top, but it tastes like cheese. This is pastry with butter and sugar. It's flaky. Right. We'll do this. The classic croissant. It's good. Right. Oh. Next up, this is a panel chocolate. It's very flaky though. Like, this is like almost breaking apart. Oh, wow. Okay. Mmm. Next up, so this is like a chocolate muffin. We'll get this done because this looks like incredibly rich. Oh, look at that. Christmassy. This is a chocolate muffin. Oh, wow. And it's filled with chocolate. Oh. Next up we'll do another muffin, this is the Victoria Sponge Muffin. Or maybe the lemon one. Nope, this is the lemon one. Oh, these are rich. Whew. Very soft though, I'll say that, but... Very rich. Oh, lemon filled muffin. That is lovely. Very sweet. Oh, we'll do the Victoria Sponge Muffin. I love that these muffins have got around 350 to 400 calories each, which is fun. Going on a juice cleanse after this. Right, Victoria Sponge. I need a burp as well. I do have coffee as well in case I need it. Somebody is calling me at the wrong time. No idea who. All right. Next up, this is a raisin pastry. This is naughty. Right. I think this is um, another croissant, but I think it's maybe walnuts, maybe? Something like that? Not sure. I think it's walnuts. Uh, pardon me. Right, this might actually be the walnut one. I really don't know. The sugar is like destroying me at the moment. I don't know what it is. It's sticky though. Ugh. So at this point, I'm really just questioning everything. Right. Chocolate twist. Oh, it's chocolatey. Mmm. Oh, this is rough. Okay. That's some weight of that. Alright, this is the apple turnover. Now I love I love Little's version. This feels really heavy though. It's pastry so far. Oh, it farted. Did you hear that? It farted. I gotta be honest, I still prefer Littles. I gotta be honest, I'm starting to feel really sick. Wonder why. Right, this is a butter Eccles cake. And I don't know what it is, but this is really, really sticky. 
like there's a level of sticky this is at the top Right, next up, chocolate chip cookie. Tell you what, this sugar is hitting me hard. Wow. Next up, a big roll tart. I'm floating in my water. Portuguese tart. Hardly know it. <sighs> I'll be honest, at this point in time, it all just tastes the same. Oh, I'm starting to feel very nauseous. Right, blueberry muffin. Oh. I'm trying not to go too fast because if I go too fast, there's going to be a very pretty colour on this table. Ooh. It would help if I like the taste of coffee, but I don't. My final thing, this is called the ultimate mince pie. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, it's pretty good. I'll give it that. Under 30, come on. Oh, just 29.57. Wow, I feel very nauseous. The entire Marks and Spencer's Bakery. That was a lot of calories. Good Lord. Do not attempt this at home. With that said, I'm going to go lie down somewhere for a very long time. Very, very long time. Probably till Christmas. With that said, guys, I will catch you in the next video.